One of the most stunning endings in WrestleMania history sees Stone Cold Steve Austin align with Mr. McMahon to regain the WWE Championship. WrestleMania 17 was in many ways the last stand for WWE's Attitude Era. Steve Austin and Triple H formed a two-man power trip as an impending invasion from WCW and ECW would forever alter WWE. So much talent in one spot would lead to the brand split and a new era, one of ruthless aggression. And at WrestleMania 20, WWE returned to its roots in New York City, proudly featuring two ring generals competing for the WWE Championship with Eddie Guerrero defending against Kurt Angle. From his arrival to WWE in late 1999, Kurt Angle was an absolute natural in a WWE ring. His rookie year would see him capture the European, Intercontinental, and WWE Championships, an astounding accomplishment. The Olympic gold medalist always used his three eyes, intensity, integrity, and intelligence, to either be a champion or to be competing for a championship. Angle lost the WWE Championship to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 19 in Seattle and looked for the opposite result at WrestleMania 20. Carrying months of resentment, Kurt looked to right the wrongs as he challenged for the championship. Despite coming from a legendary wrestling family, Eddie would not receive the path to instant stardom that his opponent did. Instead, he worked his way up from Mexico to ECW and then to WCW before finally earning a chance with WWE. It took him years to finally realize his dream, and once he had, Eddie did everything he could to keep it. In 2004, Eddie won a 15-man mini Royal Rumble that granted him a match against Brock Lesnar at No Way Out for the WWE Championship. The last man he eliminated? Yep, Kurt Angle. Still, at this point, the two appeared to be on friendly terms, even if the disappointment was obvious for Kurt. And at No Way Out in San Francisco, Eddie would achieve the impossible defeating Brock Lesnar to finally hold the WWE Championship. It was Eddie Guerrero's time. It was his time to show that he was a top performer. So I knew Eddie was on a roll and I, I knew my work was cut out for me. Angle was victorious in a triple threat match to be named the number one contender. On the surface, it seemed all was well. Two fantastic competitors who would battle to see who was better. But it turned out that Kurt Angle had been seething ever since that 15 man rumble. And with his match set, struck. Attacking Eddie while working as a special guest referee, Angle went ballistic on Latino heat. I felt the need to beat Eddie Guerrero, not just beat him, but beat him up and try to hurt him. The tone was set. This was not about competition or athletic pursuit. This was about a former champion desperate to reclaim his throne and a new champion who wasn't going to let anyone take his dreams away from him. Now it's time for you to put Kurt Angle in the silver medal position and find a way to retain Eddie Guerrero's WWE Championship at WrestleMania. But if you're not careful, Kurt's gonna grab that ankle and you'll have two choices, tap or snap. Kurt Angle always looked to prove that his opponent had no business in the ring with him. He'd use basic mat wrestling sequences to feel his opponent out to see if he could make them uncomfortable. Eddie Guerrero knew that he had the technical skills to hang with Angle, and showing them off would be essential to his survival in the match. If Angle knew you were outmatched right away, he'd just play with you. Eddie being able to counter his way out of Angle's mat wrestling was his way of saying, I'm the champion for a reason and I'm just as good as you are. Nobody able to grab control, both back to their feet in the standoff. Angle looking a little surprised that Eddie was more than capable on the ground.
The reversals in this match were non-stop. Kurt would find his way out of Eddie's three amigos. And Eddie returned the favor when he freed himself from Angle's grasp as he attempted the rolling German suplexes. Angle's attempts to show that Eddie wasn't in his league had not gone the way he'd hoped for to this point. The anger that led him to attack Eddie in the first place now had Angle looking for a German suplex from the apron onto the floor. Luckily, Eddie was able to free himself from the situation and open up more offense for himself. An opponent like Kurt Angle was so difficult for this very reason. He was so good, he'd force you to take big risks against him in hopes of gaining that ever so important control. It appeared Angle had set him up, moving out of the way the second that Eddie dove at him from the top rope. Eddie went chest first into the barricade, taking all the air out of him. As Angle maintained his control, Eddie again grew desperate, looking for any chance to get Angle on the defensive. Perched on the top turnbuckle, Guerrero would fight back, sending Angle crashing to the mat. Looking to strike quickly, Eddie again went for broke, attempting his frog splash to a downed Angle. Each time Eddie took a risk, it failed to pay off. Was Kurt baiting him to force the mistakes, or was Eddie just rushing the opportunity? Eddie would need to make adjustments if he was going to find the victory.
Eddie was attempting to rally. An angle needed to cut it off quickly. You know Kurt means business when the straps come down. He had Eddie right where he wanted him. Looking to end the match courtesy of his trademark ankle lock. Eddie hadn't taken much damage to his ankle at this point and was able to survive the painful predicament with a timely roll-up. So evenly matched, no one able to maintain a dominant position for long. Both men were unsure of their path to victory, but Angle was not going to let that throw him off his plan as he took the champion down again with another German suplex. Eddie had fought so hard to get back into the match. Struggling to get Angle back to his feet, hoping to put the finishing touches on his challenger. In the blink of an eye, Angle had managed to trap Eddie back in the ankle lock. The exhaustion was obvious, but Eddie continued to fight. Could he make it to the ropes? Was he going to tap out? Eddie reached into his bag of tricks and was able to roll forward, sending Angle crashing to the floor. Despite freeing himself from the hold, Eddie still seemed to be in a bad predicament. His ankle looked to be severely damaged, keeping him from following up with any attacks. Looking scared, Eddie began to loosen his boot, hoping to alleviate any potential swelling. The look in Angle's eyes as he went back into the ring was like a lion chasing down its prey. With the ankle lock again applied, was there anything left in Eddie? The answer was yes, as Eddie would free himself from both his loose boot and the ankle lock itself. In the confusion, Kurt would run right into a small package attempt by Eddie. And the bell rang with Eddie Guerrero finally tricking Kurt Angle, keeping his status as WWE Champion intact.